Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Law enforcement patrolling the Super Bowl are keeping an eye out for sex trafficking, but it's a problem that happens regardless of whether there's a big game in town. Reporter Shannon Slatton explains how a group of Hopkins High School students are doing something about it. I'm Jessica Melnick, the founder and president of Girls United, and it was started in 2014, and it stemmed out of a conversation that we had in our seventh grade life science class. When Hopkins High School junior Jessica Melnick took the microphone at the state capitol this week, she spoke with a wisdom beyond her years. Which will hopefully start the conversation and open many doors towards preventing sex trafficking. Jessica leads a group of students at Hopkins High called Girls United Minnesota, and together they put on programs to empower younger female students with positive messages about body image or learning math and science. They also host speakers, and one speaker's message resonated with the young women. We had a speaker come and talk to us in November about sex trafficking in Minnesota. Afterwards, we just were kind of surprised that it wasn't something that we had heard about in school. The most shocking thing for me was that it happened so close to home. There was um, a girl here that um, was sex trafficked at the Hopkins High School. So Girls United Minnesota decided to take action. They started researching and brainstorming what they could do. We don't just meet to chat to just have fun, but we also meet to like make a, like, a difference in this world and to hope one day that it becomes a better place. Then they met with bipartisan legislators to help craft a bill to prevent sex trafficking through education. It gives permission to schools to teach about sex trafficking and hopefully sex trafficking prevention education. Um, and our goal would be to educate students before they get into the life. This is a spectacular story and we want to make sure that we recognize that as legislators, you know, we have a lot of great ideas. You know, we all think we do um, uh, at times, but this is something that came from them. They, they were the ones that inspired this legislation. They are the ones who uh, brought this to our attention. The legislative session opens up in a few weeks and the young women have high hopes their bill will go far. In the meantime, they will host an informative workshop on sex trafficking at the Eisenhower Community Center on Thursday, February 15th, starting at 6.30 p.m.